Hey, what's going on? You know who it is. You know what it is. All right, you guys, as we dig and look further into the mystery of who the mysterious person was posing as Colin Kaepernick, you know, uh, alongside, you know, Jason Fatlock, apparently the person turned out to be no other than Kid from the hip hop group Kid and Play. Now, I don't know what his reasons was for doing this, but at the end of the day, it's very disappointing to see that, uh, you know, Kid participated in such childish, you know, a disrespectful uh, behavior alongside Jason Whitlock. Jason Whitlock has really been disrespectful towards this Colin Kaepernick thing. And to me, I feel like he crossed the line because at the end of the day, he's making a mockery out of the Black Fist. And his fat ass is old enough to understand the meaning of the Black Fist and what it stands for. But Jason Whitlock is so happy into his cooning to where he likes doing this stuff and keep in mind jason Whitlock will get what's coming to him eventually he'll be removed from fox again just like he was espn he's been fired before and eventually when his antics run out they'll toss him out on his ass again um one of the reasons why i just Big Jason uh, Whitlock is just a despicable and deplorable person. One, Jason Whitlock, you could tell he has a lot of inner hate for himself alongside black people. Because we all know Jason Whitlock is a closet homosexual. Everybody knows that by now. Everybody knows it. They figured it out. And I think, one, he's miserable about that. That's why he lashes out at everybody for no reason. You know, and then plus his obsession with Colin Kaepernick is a behavior of homosexual behavior, homosexual stalking. So that's the sad part about Jason Whitlock. But at the end of the day, you still can't give a dude a pass for some of his antics. And I think he's very disrespectful of not only, you know, the black community, but just, you know, just people himself. Because he'd be just flat out disrespectful, period. See, here's the thing about Jason Whitlock that you guys understand. Jason Whitlock said it himself. He already said he don't be in public, which means you won't ever catch him at a Starbucks. Or, you know, well, I'm, I'm pretty sure he sneaks into a hometown buffet or, uh, you know, or uh, go to Corral occasionally. What he does is he buys the place out for himself. And we all know Jason Whitlock could eat enough to uh, make up for. You know, let's just say he buys the place out for an hour. So we all know he can make up for the hour worth of uh, revenue that, you know, either all you can eat buffet with uh, generating revenue. So that's his thing. He already says that. He says he gets in his uh, car, you know, he drives home, you know. He says that the doorman lets him in his apartment and he goes to his house. Because Jason Whitlock know somebody going to eventually confront him for the stuff he says. When you say shit like what he says towards the black community and just the way he attacks other black people relentlessly versus white people. Yeah, eventually somebody going to confront him. Now, I'm not saying incite violence and that stuff, but you got to wonder... Why hasn't it happened to him yet? And then once he said last month, because he was bragging about it, basically he was hinting that, oh, you won't catch me. When he says he leave his studio, you know, he get in the car and he say he go to his apartment. I think he said on Winshire Boulevard or where in, in whatever, wherever he stay at. And he say he, you know, wait till he, I guess he's sitting in his apartment building until the next day. Till it's time to go to work. So yeah. 
you won't get a chance to confront him. And I know he tried to talk all tough, but you could tell he the type that'll call the police or he the type that's going to run the other. Well, he can't run. So we, we all know he can't do that. So we all know he that type of dude. He not going to try to fight back. He going to run. He going to call the cops. So, yeah. That's one of the reasons why Jason Whitlock say that ridiculous shit that he say. But, like I said, man, eventually he going to get his, man. And as far as Kid from Kid and Play go, yeah, man, that's very disappointing, man. I just did a video where I gave you some, some love on a video and some props, man. But, wow, very sad. Very, very sad. Very disappointed in you, kid. You know, you know better than that and you should be better than that. I'm out.